Well, we made it through the hurricane and the lake is full and all the debris is down here against the spillway and it's got really good flow. Not considering what it could be. It's been through there several feet deep before. But we only had about two inches of rain, two or three inches of rain. And we got to go out there and open our valve up. And we left our boat over. We can launch it right there, Tim. Yeah. We can go down right there. It's not going to be fun. But we can We can go down right there. Uh, we start going towards the floor, we've got to aim for the biggest group of logs. Well, I'm going to be quite honest with you. We're not going to drift through that lot of mess right there. Yeah, so it shoots I'm not trying to go down. It, <laughs> I'm aborting the boat. I'll go. <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, let's see if we can get that boat flipped over and shoved down into the water. So as you can tell, the lake filled up from the the rain. You got everything hauled out, but they want to take out two more thousand yards, so we got to dredge out or drain down the lake and dredge that out down there. But as you can tell, it's all water now. I don't see a giant plume of sand up here so hopefully it didn't wash in bad enough here all oh, that looks fairly good looks like everything held up well the road held up good but uh yeah it's just full of water now we're actually going to start building a construction entrance see way across the lake there's a house with a gazebo there we're going to uh, start getting ready to dredge the other cove over there. So I got to, we opened the valve up this morning. And now we just got to let the water go down. Before I can get out there and lay that mud back. But um, Tim worked over here Wednesday and finished loading out the rest of the mud. And as you can tell, it looks 100 times better than it did. When we're all said and done, we'll take this silt fence up and grade all this out and seed and straw all this and it'll be good till it silts in again. Well, when you're not sure how much rain you're going to get, you uh, raise the machine up out of the flood stage. Right, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> Got it as high as you could. Hey, and you don't want your mats to float away, so you... Uh, you get it up as high as you can get it. I'm going to, uh, it's just gonna probably be a week or so before we come back, I'm just gonna pull it off the mat so it's not sitting here hanging for another week or so. And we got our construction entrance in for the uh, the next cove we got to dredge out. About 15 tons of rock down and some fabric and got the trees trimmed back. And now we're going to go grade the uh, other entrance out. And it'll probably be a couple weeks before we haul again. We got a pipe delivery. Let it go. Good, it didn't roll all the way down the hill like that. And there's the pond that's got to go in. Now we get to go start the siphon because it cut off before the hurricane. And therefore the pond filled back up. We've got a little bit of a washed out 
overflow here. I just stepped all in the fire ants. <clears throat> Does anybody else have these things? Look, you see nothing. And then look at the thousands and thousands of ants everywhere. And they hurt when they bite you. But as you can tell, it's a little washed out. The water's going around the pipe instead of in the pipe. So we're going to actually set a manhole right over there with the uh, trash rack on top. That'll be Monday's project. We're going to dig down where the siphon's at and set that and that'll be the new overflow and get rid of this. We got the pump set up. Now we're filling the siphon up. We got the cap put on the back side. It'll take about 10 minutes to fill this up. Now get in there and take the cap off and hopefully it'll go. Should. Well, I missed that by about five seconds, but it's full now. Let's put that right there. All right, if you want to screw that on, I'll go take the cap off so I can get something interesting to film today. Yeah, we got to clear a few of these trees out. And we'll run that new overflow pipe down here. Fires go around them. And let it discharge down here. Got it? See, he says. And we put that on a little tight. And. comes the flood. It's Friday about almost three o'clock. So let me see how much water that that lets out. It'll have this pond just about dry probably Sunday, Sunday night. It'll we got the pipe set so it won't go but so low. It'll cut itself off. And then Monday morning we'll be here to start uh, clearing these trees and setting that riser box.